so let us do one more question i think uh, all the questions will be similar only but only thing for me doing so many questions is by the end of i i complete the topic the concept would be clear it's easy for you to apply the concept in the exam right so let us see this question <coughs> why are second ionization enthalpies of chromium and copper higher so both these questions are similar but only thing is the elements are different right now they say the second ionization enthalpy for chromium and copper okay chromium second ionization enthalpy yes 1592 higher when i compare to all these things and copper it is 1958 higher when i compare to these two that is one anomaly isn't it so they are asking us why is this higher so second ionization enthalpy they said so what is this chromium now chromium the configuration for chromium <coughs> is 3d5 4s1 okay now for your copper the configuration is again 3d10 4s1 now what happened they asked me for second ionization so when i am applying the first ionization enthalpy so i am going to remove this electron this becomes zero this also becomes zero now this is your first ie1 and ie1 now when i have to apply the second ionization enthalpy observe i have to apply or i have to remove this electron now second ionization enthalpy when i am to remove this is half filled and this half filled and this full filled configuration is more highly stable when it is highly stable automatically the ionization enthalpy values will become more isn't it so that is a concept so just simple how should you write this answer your second ionization enthalpy ie2 that is for your chromium you will get 3d5 configuration for copper you will get 3d10 configuration so more high highly stable hence ie values are greater this is the same concept here also now they've asked me third ionization enthalpy for manganese or zinc okay so for manganese third ionization enthalpy when i compare all these are in 2000 value uh, kilojoules this is uh, only 3000 okay now again 2000 now okay 3000 increasing now they're asking you why is the third ionization enthalpy of manganese and zinc higher now for manganese if i have to take configuration is 3d5 4s2 For then I this it zinc zinc again it is 3d10 4s2 3d5 4s2 3d10 4s2. Now what happened third they said for first five ionization enthalpy this goes second ionization enthalpy this goes. So when you are applying the third ionization enthalpy, what are you left with? Your third ionization enthalpy has to remove electron again from the same 3d5 and 3d10. So what happens here in case of your manganese okay which ionization enthalpy ionization enthalpy 3 third that is your delta hi 3 so for manganese it has become 3d5 and in case of zinc 3d10 you have to apply energy on this the same concept here highly stable highly stable so ie is maximum simple isn't it just write the configuration see whether it is first second or third and you can write that value or write that reasoning answer